What's up, y'all? B Noah Drive 229 here. And today we're gonna kind of revisit a topic we had done earlier when we were first a new channel. And we ended up having it. Something was wrong with the video, we had to take it down. But this video is gonna be all about transmissions and which one you all think is the best. So it's kind of gonna be like an open, you know, topic. So all our subscribers, everybody who watches, feel free to comment below and let us know which one you think is the best. But first what I'm going to do is just have a brief breakdown of each type of transmission for our subscribers or maybe viewers who aren't car guys, who aren't too familiar with all the different types of transmissions. So I'm going to do that first, then I'm going to tell you which one I think is the best and why, and then you know you all comment or whatever. Okay, so basically there's four main types of transmission. You got your automatic, which is the one everybody knows, I mean obviously, you know, 90% of cars they are automatic so you got a torque converter conventional you know it does all the work for you you just put it in drive and go um, even though nowadays there are some more performance oriented automatics I know you got your ZF ZF makes a pretty good one um, like the ones in the Camaro you know BMW has a few of them and they you know actually have the paddle shifters so you can somewhat automate it you know somewhat shift through the gears yourself but you know you never really have total control and if you know it'll shift for you if you know it feels like you're not doing the right thing but that's your automatic conventional torque converter that like conventional torque converter and does all the work for you manual transmission most people are familiar with this one too this is the stick with the clutch so you do all the work yourself you roll through the gears uh, generally considered the most fun uh, out of all the transmission um, I know a lot of people only want a stick and that's it and I personally think everybody should learn how to drive a stick uh, it's a brief side note but there's many times I've been in a situation um, before I learned how to drive a stick where maybe someone for any reason maybe they had drunk more than they thought they were going to or just for any situation it would have helped if I had known at that point how to drive a stick because I couldn't help out like we either had to wait for somebody or call or you know make some type of extra stuff because nobody in the whole group knew how to drive this one person's car but you know had we known how to drive a stick then it would have been much easier so you know just a brief side note I think everybody should learn how to drive a stick just so you won't be caught in weird situations or whatever but uh, that's your manual transmission once again most people are familiar with that um, it's the one with stick the clutch you do all the work yourself thirdly is one that a lot of people aren't too familiar with and they get confused with an automatic but it is not an automatic transmission and that is a dual clutch so a dual clutch transmission while it does not have a clutch pedal it only has two pedals just like an automatic it is not an automatic transmission in the sense of it does not have a torque converter so it it is technically a manual transmission it just has two clutches that work automated or uh, that work automatically so what happens is basically while the first clutch is engaged into like first gear then the second clutch is right above second gear and ready to go let me put my both hands on the steering wheel but uh both gears are always ready to go into the next gear so there's one clutch for the odd bank so first third fifth gear and there's one clutch for second fourth and sixth gear so that way while the one's in first gear the one in second is ready to go as soon as you click the paddle up it switches and then the one in first goes over hovers over third is ready to go you click the paddle goes into third so on and so forth and so the benefit of a dual clutch is the speed at which you can shift I mean you know shifting a manual it's only possible to shift it so fast there's human error there's all these things with a dual clutch it takes all that out of the way I think some dual clutches the PDK can shift in like eight hundredths of a second or something crazy like that or is it milliseconds I have to look it up I'll put it uh, on the bottom of the screen how many milliseconds it takes a dual clutch to, to shift but it's much faster than anything that a human could attain on their own obviously the benefit of this is faster lap times you know faster car all around and that's why it's my personal favorite so I personally think that the dual clutch is the best transmission that you can get 
because it, it it's still kind of fun because it's technically still a manual so you have a lot more control than an automatic so you can you know still shift through the gears yourself or if they have the you know actuated uh lever where you can somewhat be in a manual and do it on the lever um but you have more control and you can get light and quick shifts i know like when i drove the pdk really amazing what they can do with a dual clutch and it's still fun and you still get those blips on downshift if the car sounds good and all that so that's why i personally think that a dual clutch is the best transmission you can get it's my most favorite um i really think my next car might have a dual clutch we'll see though there's one option that doesn't have a dual clutch but uh i really like dual clutch especially if you live in a city with a lot of traffic then you can just put it over in the automatic mode and you know be good to go so you get the both best of both worlds if you want to chill you can flip it over to automatic mode chill out fight traffic or whatever and when you want to have some fun it's as simple as one shift one click of your left hand and uh you're in full control and ready to go uh, so that's why I think a dual clutch is the best transmission, it's the best of both worlds. And uh, lastly, not even really worth mentioning, but I'm just going to mention it because I hate it so much, is the CVT. And basically the CVT transmission is continuously variable. It doesn't even really have gears, it's just like one long gear. It's really complicated how it works and we're not even going to get into that in this video. But basically just know like, you know, Hondas and crap like that have them that are really uh, focus on saving gas. That's the CVT's calling card. Is it's really good on gas. So, but they sound horrible. They sound like several cats are dying every time you you know try to hit the gas. And the lag is really bad on that transmission. Like really really bad. I drove one time and I pressed the gas and I was like looking around, like literally looking from left to right, wondering what was happening. And then it finally somewhat took off. So um, that's a fourth option if you want to save gas then you have the CVT transmission for you. So, those are the four options. Like I already said, I think that the dual clutch is the best one you can get. But a lot of people are gonna argue and say a manual is the best. So definitely, y'all comment below. Let me know what you think is the best. Let me know what car you think has the best transmission. I think it's Porsche's PDK. But uh, the BMW's dual clutch is good as well. Let me know what you think the Honda S2000 I think their manual is legendary too I've never driven one but the manual in the S2000 I've heard a lot of good things about it so let me know comment below some more cars with good transmissions what you think is the best transmission all that open discussion this has been D no wheel drive 229 don't forget to subscribe check out our other content y'all have a good day